when you thought we had seen the end to the twists and turns in the Moses Batangula shooting saga, there is one more tonight. The senator's driver, Samson Nyokuri now, says he never changed his testimony as alleged by police. Nyokuri insists that he told police that the senator's vehicle was shot at and maintains that testimony. In fact, as Katian's Sharon Mumanya now reports, the driver even claims that police tried to force him to alter his statement. In just a few days, the shooting saga surrounding the Bungoma senator has turned from a security scare to a complex riddle. But now the man who was driving Wetangula's car that night, Samson Nyukuri, is speaking out. This after police claimed that the senator's driver had changed his testimony to support the latest theory that the car simply hit a billboard on that Thursday night. But Nyukuri insists that he has never changed his testimony about the shooting i would like to make it clear that when i was summoned to record a statement with the police friday last week i maintained to i maintained to, to them that the attack was a can shoot and the, that the and their theory of hitting a billboard is just a diversionary in fact, the driver alleges that it was the Deputy Divisional Criminal Investigations Officer at the Kilimani Police Station who tried to get him to sign a revised statement when he was summoned to the station. The statement ambaye ilikuwa isha antikwa, akiniambia ya kwamba hii statement haina shida. Ni statement sawasawa tu na ile yenye ulikuwa meandika ya kwanza. Sasa nilishangaa sana siku ya leo kupata ripoti ya kwamba mimi nilikupaliana ya kwamba eti mimi nilikuwa nimekonga billboard hiyo ni propaganda. This latest twist comes in the wake of a battle of words between CORD and Jubilee leaders, with the Jubilee counterparts claiming that Wetangula's reported assassination attempt was stage managed. <laughs> How many times uh, even you do you hit a banner or a or a road furniture? Many times. Yeah. So this is this is cheap politics, this is falsehood, this is uh, people who are idle. Nukuri's statement now puts the honors back on the police to back their billboard claims and is likely to fuel further controversy in what has now turned into a partisan political saga. Sharon Momani, KTN.